What's going on, everybody? It's been a long saga, but I finally got the motor in and got it hooked up and got it running last night. Been working on this thing um, since before Thanksgiving. And uh, it's, right now it's uh, the end of February. So we definitely had a share of troubles with this thing. My brother kind of got his hand hurt messing with this thing. The motor slipped, landed on his hand between the motor and the exhaust. But it wasn't too bad. Ended up having to take the uh, plenum off the top there because you could see where it was hidden. It wouldn't uh, allow the motor to, to go back as far as it needed to. It kept popping off of the transmission. So I, once I took that off, we got it on there fairly easy. And I've got just about everything hooked up to it. Had to uh, find all the hoses, lines, and wires, and uh, had to use my F-250 back here for reference. Thankfully, I had that to go by. So uh, last night, we just hooked up all the wires and the fuel lines in the back just to get air and, I mean, get fuel and fire. And uh, I was going to start it up here real quick. I obviously, I put the radiator in, but I'm winding it down, what I've got left to do. Engine lights on. I don't know why. I'll figure that out. I got a little bit of a tap here. I know the timing's off because we uh, haven't tightened up the distributor yet. We're on. Uh, we can put a regulator on it. I can take that off the other engine. And, uh, so now it's running pretty good. Just hooked the exhaust up a few minutes ago. mounts on it uh, I had to uh, I had to put the stock manifolds from the other engine on here because these these headers wouldn't work after all they fit perfect on the engine but when I put them on the put them on the engine and put the engine in the truck the exhaust here was coming out right let's see if you can see it right there at the sleeve cylinder and uh so if you ever buy headers for really any vehicle, make sure you're putting in the right information. Because uh, I saw the correct shorty headers for this truck and where it comes out here, instead of being at a 45, it turns pretty much turns it go straight down. And that would have missed that slave cylinder. So I guess that's why these were for a Fox body Mustang because it would have been a side load transmission or an automatic instead of a top load like this one is. So anyway, like I said, I got pretty much everything hooked up from from the belt, serpentine belt and back. Uh, next thing is put the radiator on, fill it up full of coolant and see what we got. It's still got old oil in it, so I'm going to give it a tune-up. I did notice this the other day. The uh, I think the 92 to 97 trucks, also known as the Aero Nose, say Ford 5.0 or 4.9 or 5.8 EFI, whichever size engine you got. And the engines for the Brick Nose 87 to 91. I think even 86, the old, the, the bull nose that were fuel injected the last year, just said no, electronic fuel injection didn't have the the uh, size of the engine on. You'd have to look at the sticker on the engine or uh, it's probably stamped on the block somewhere or just go by the sticker that's on the truck under the hood. 
So that's the old engine. I'll probably start tearing it down soon to rebuild it and put it in this truck. Uh, working on these two trucks, I realized how much was, was actually missing off of this one. I'd look up, a, trying to find a, a plug, a hose, and uh, this truck didn't even have it. And right before we got it going, right before I tried to start it, I was trying to tighten up the, the uh, what do we call this right here, starter, the solenoid. I broke the brass stud off trying to tighten it up, so I had to pull the one off of this one. And I had to rob the battery too, so this one's, this one's not running now. So this was the same, same way. It would have had a sticker or something on here telling you what size the engine is, unless you're just really new. These engines good. Okay, this one will run, at least it would, until I pulled the battery and the, that off of it. The, it would run before that. I'll try to keep it running so I can move it around. Because uh, I can rebuild that engine, have it ready to go in here, and then, uh, then I can pull the engine out. So I have to do some updates on that, that uh, engine once I start working on it. So yeah, I think I'm down to, you know, I gotta put the air breather on. I gotta clean it out good because this thing was pushing the oil either out of there or um, I don't think it would have been coming out of there, but uh, wherever it was coming out at, it was still a mess up because the, the, the air filter in there is just is full of oil. And all that is full of oil. I got really hard to take that off and clean it out. So, uh, because I'm just pushing out the other engine. So I gotta hook the hook the breather back up. Get a new, might as well get a new air filter too. That one's ruined. Put the radiator and the hoses back on it. And uh I think that's just about it. And then before I put the hood on, I'm gonna take that vent cowl there off and the wipers and replace that wiper motor. Because it only works on high. Actually the 250 is the same way. And um, you've uh, you can see the bolts there for it, but they just sit there and spin. You gotta you gotta get behind it, so you gotta take that off. And that vent cowl doesn't want to come off with the hood on it. So since I've got the hood off, I'm gonna mess with it. And we kind of dented it up some when we were first trying to get the engine out. So I went to a junkyard a while back and found one that was the same color a little bit of surface rust but no dents and no bad rust on it so i'll put that on it got the hood and i'll go ahead and put a wiper motor on it while it's down this far and um i need to show you all a video on my other truck uh, post that up i was going to sell this to a friend of mine but ended up buying a another one and uh just to flip and he ended up getting it. So I'll probably post this one up for sale once I get it, get the hood and stuff back on it, drive it around here a little bit, make sure everything's gonna work right on it. So uh, that's about all I got so far. It's been a, been a, quite a mess. And oh, another thing, the, uh, I'm gonna have to fix the oil pan because I guess, uh, Maneuvering it around in here, we must have bumped into something with the oil pan and it put a crack in it. So it's, it's hard to see, but there's a lot of oil under there. Just slowly seeping out. I don't have everything hooked up the way it was supposed to be, like this right here. I just mounted it here just for a ground because on that the 250, the same wire goes up behind here. And I couldn't tell where it was. It was something something back here that I can't reach. I had a time getting this right here on there. It was terrible. Uh, yeah, a lot of these weren't too bad. I took a lot of pictures and then I had the 250 to go by. So I just did it the best I could. And yeah, but it, it's got a, got a tap for whatever reason, but it wasn't doing that when I heard the engine running before. So I won't just change the oil 
put some oil treatment in it. Hopefully that'll fix it. I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah, I'm happy with it though. I'm glad it's glad to hear it run. It was loud last night because it just had open manifolds. I didn't have the exhaust hooked up. I just wanted to hear it run before I went to bed. So I got uh, most of the stuff hooked up. I never knew what this was for. I don't know where it goes. I need to look at some other trucks because the 250 doesn't have either one of these. So I don't know what they're... Well, the, the 250 wouldn't have this because the, it's had a small pump delete. It's got a just an aluminum bracket down there. And this one, that goes something to do with the emissions. But I'm going to rip all that off anyway because when I rebuild that motor, it's going to be carburetor. So all this is gone. I don't want to have any of it. No oxygen sensors, map sensor, or anything. Uh, that's about all I could think of so far. Y'all saw where I painted all this. Scratched up a lot of it trying to get the motor on. It was terrible. So uh, I'll do another video once it's finished. There's not much left now. I think another, another weekend I'll have it finished. So I appreciate y'all watching my videos and keeping up with it. Catch y'all later.